Hey, what's up, YouTube and GPK fam? It's your boy, Retro Hero, back doing another non-sports show and tell. This one's number 78. In today's episode, that's right, your boy here received a little Chrome 5 in the mail. Now, I did receive five hobby boxes. One is saved in my collection, and what you see before you here is what we're ripping open today. Well, almost... That one on the end has a little sticker on it. It says giveaway. If you commented in my last video and you had the hashtag right, you're going to go into the drawing today to receive a hobby box from your boy here. Just as my thank you and my New Year's gift to you. So we're going to tear open three other boxes today. Let's see what kind of hits we get. In the meantime, why don't you sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. <music> Hi and welcome back. Here we go. Now normally I start these videos with a little bit of information about Chrome 5, the original Series 5. However, I'm, I'm not going to do that this video. We're not going to talk about odds again. We're not going to talk about what you can get from these hobby boxes. Mostly because, uh, guess what? Fanatics who bought Tops had their very first Garbage Pail Kid release and uh, they screwed up. So these odds that are in these boxes, they're not even right. So, uh, most people are pulling between three, maybe four hits a box. Typically, we're used to about between six and eight. The odds for these packs, well, they are just not correct. So there is no reason for us to sit down and uh, basically talk about what we think the odds are going to be. Um, a couple other things I heard out there. People really wanted to see these boxes come in black. And, uh, you know, I get it. Uh, that is the original Series 5 color of the boxes. But, uh, you know, to me it doesn't really matter. Um, typically I'm not really saving these boxes with the exception of one sealed. So as long as they come and they're nice looking cards, that is pretty much all that I care about. I don't really threat too much for the color of the box. I would have been happier with uh, maybe just... Uh, correct odds uh, more parallel hits however uh, the good news is is once people figured out that the parallel hits for these boxes were not what they're supposed to be uh, the price dramatically dropped on these I've seen them as low as $55 Boop, gone um, so you could pick up a couple of these hobby boxes for yourself and uh, and you know what save a little bit of money this time so let's open some packs again that one is sealed that is the giveaway box <clears throat> if you're like me you've probably already seen these cards out there but this is with the exception of the few videos that i watched these are my first look um no i am not wearing gloves because that's stupid okay so tanya hyde right there we got a refractor right out of the gate clark can't wonderful Mo Skeeto, and then this will be the all new art, and that is Metallic Max. Very cool. Um, there is a couple good all new art series, as far as I'm concerned, this time around. Let's move on to pack number two. We have a lot to get through, so we are going to go quick. Windy Winston got another refractor, and that is the all new series, Welded Fred. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that art on that one. Uh, Super Slade, Super Slade Slade. Wow, say that several times fast, 207B. And Kanesua, Kanesua, very nice. I haven't seen a lot of hits from these. I've seen a little bit of color. Um, I've seen a few things on Facebook where some people have maybe pulled a couple of plates. But uh, that is about it. There's our, our Refractor Unbreakable Barney. Um, some of them do say Refractor on the back. Some don't, I hear. Johnny One Note, great card. And this is Pin Paul. That is the all new Atom Bomb art. I do actually really like this card. It uh, is nice looking. Hopefully, we pull some color for that one. 
Original Series 5, I was still collecting then, not as deep as I was when uh, Original Series 1 and 2 came out. Michael Mutants, looks like we're pulling a refractor a pack. That's not bad. Mick Dagger, very nice. And then we got Juicy Lucy and Tagged Tad. Very cool. However, you know, I don't think I was really that deep. I, by the time this came out, I believe I was in sixth grade. So I, I maybe lost a little interest. Uh, it could have been fifth grade. Who knows? But uh, maybe I lost a little interest in these. But I don't uh, have a, a ton of fond memories for original Series 5. I don't have bad memories with it by any means. So Repaired Rex, Dental Flossy, and Jean Machine. What I haven't seen yet is the no blue line, no blue line error, no blue link, uh, whatever that was, error. I don't think I've seen anyone pull one yet. So if I pull one, that'll be great. Um, no refractors in these, but uh, pen to penny, very nice. And edible Ernie. Have seen a couple C card pulls. You know, the chrome C cards, they don't really, yeah. They are what they are. Um, you know, if we get one, we get one. Nasty Nancy. But they're not my favorite. I'd rather see some colored hits. Handy Randy. Um, all upside. Iron Nat Nerd. That's actually pretty cool. I do like that card. Iron Nat Nerd. And then we've got Fried Franklin. So that is a really great looking card. Um, I saw a YouTube video. I'm trying to remember who pulled the yellow. I think it was Dan the Man pulled the yellow of that and it just popped so that would be a neat parallel to get all right so there we go adam ball very cool very great art the reason we're breaking open three if you ask is that is what i hear it takes for us to get a full set so and i think uh we already have our first duplicate there so i can see why um, three hobby boxes to get a set. Uh, three hobby boxes, if you're buying them at a low price, will run you right around 180 bucks. So that's what you're paying for your set. You can buy those sets for $25 or $30 on the forums right now. So uh, <laughs> if you want a set of Garbage Pail Kid Chrome Series 5 and you don't care about opening these hobby boxes yourself, just buy it right off the forum. You'll save a ton of money. McDagger's Gourmet, great card. Brenda Blended, very nice. And Hugh Turn, <laughs> very cool. I remember as a kid, everyone always thought that was a error card because, of course, it was upside down. So, But it wasn't. On to our next pack. We do have some color. Looks like an orange back there. That's nice. Richie Wretch. Oh, and speak of the devil. So let's take a look. Fried Franklin. Got Fried Franklin in the orange. Doesn't pop as much as the yellow, but of course the orange there is numbered to 75, and this one is number 12 of 75 for Fried Franklin. Um, again, very excited to pull that, but that yellow wave refractor just really popped for that card. But it's pretty cool nonetheless, so let's put you in a penny sleeve. And there is our first hit, so we'll set that right over there across the logo. Uh, and then Ross Roast. <laughs> Very cool. Again, original Series 5. I have a lot of these original sets. Again, not my favorite, but uh, Chrome is fun. We do have another parallel underneath. Uh, looks like an Aqua, maybe Ginger Snapped. It is. So we have Earl Painting, and that is an Aqua Wave. Aqua Waves are numbered to 199, and this one is 57 of 199. So that's a nice little hit there, too. Maybe I should just pull out a couple of these penny sleeves. We're going to sleeve Earl painting up. Very cool. Starchy Archie and Melted Milton. Let's keep going here. Now, I just opened these, and, and maybe we'll keep track of the packs to see how many hits we get. So there's our refractor, Blue Boy George. At least my refractors are nail or uh, labeled refractor. Harden Hollis, another Hollis build. Shout out. And Lucas Mucus. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen packs of 24 down. So, let's see how many really refractors and, and uh, parallels we get in a box. There's 14. Okay, so Delicates. And then there's our refractor, Gassy Gus. Did like that card as a kid, Gassy Gus. Spencer Dispenser, funny. 
and Fred Thread. Fred Thread got a little printing decal error up there. Look at that. Can you guys see that? I know the light's off that. So I imagine Chrome is difficult to produce and, and keep it clean for Topps fanatics, but it is what it is. There's number 15, Cliffhanger. There is our refractor, and that is Dental Daniel. Very nice. Then right underneath Dental Daniel Refractor, we have a regular Dental, Dan Dental Daniel. And then 192B Hamburger Patty. <laughs> Hamburger Patty. Let me go ahead and stack these up a little bit so I'm not making a mess and they're getting mixed up. Uh, again, this time around, probably just like the last Chrome, I'm just going to stuff all the refractors in a little case. There's pack 16. And uh, just save them. I don't know. Uh, 199A, 204A, Jewel Drools, Haunted Hollis again. And 214B, Silvery Neal. Silver and Neil, very nice. Um, who is the, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the artist that does all the melting, uh, Sal Salvatore Dali, I think, is, is that right? So, I, yeah, but anyway, um, kind of a play on that. There is D-Face, there is our refractor of Luke Puke, it does say refractor on the back. Always like this as a as a kid, menaced dentist. Do you guys remember the glue worms when you were a kid? You could keep them with you in the bed. Uh, Slade, Slade. Okay, here we go. 18, 19, 20, 21. We're getting real close here. So we've got Sprayed Wade, Surreal Neil, Gassy Gus, and Blue Boy George. Seems like I am, uh, hmm. Seems like I'm pulling quite a bit of duplicates from this first one, so it doesn't say much about correlation. I think I, I read a little bit from GPK News on his opening. Uh, there's Ben Bolt, very nice. Uh, it said that he was four cards short of a set when he opened up his two hobby boxes. Um, and Topps Fanatics sent GPK News some hobby boxes this time, so that's actually really nice. Let's finish up our final four here. See how we ended up. Okay, so Reinforce Aaron, Doey Joey, Ultraviolet, another really good card. Not a super nice pinning on that. And Gil Grill. <laughs> Gil Grill. A couple more here. Then we're done with our first box. Gondo Mini, Willie Wipeout, Batty Barney, and Lazy Louie. Very good. We This might be a two-hit box as far as uh, refractors go. Oh, this pack's already actually open. I didn't didn't tear that. Hmm. All right. Maybe it's got something good, when, good in it. A little damage pack. Let's see. County Sewer. Nope. Already got that. Terry Cloth, Diaper Dan, and uh, Ginger Snapped. I did have some Ginger Snaps at Christmas. I do actually enjoy those cookies. Uh, for those of you that are asking if my voice sounds a little, eh, well, that's because I uh, got COVID the week of Christmas. So that was a nice Christmas gift. Didn't really get to spend any time with my family. So that was too bad. But uh, we're going to have our Christmas this weekend for New Year's. And uh, hey, you guys are going to have a Christmas because we're going to do that giveaway today, that hobby box. The only thing I ask is uh, if you pull a super fractor that you uh, send it back to me. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will. Fran Furter. Very nice. Melton Milton. Very cool. Last one of the 24. Okay, here we go. Silver Toothy Ruthie. Reverted or Riveted Rex. That's one of the new ones there. Nat Nerd again. Very cool. And Def Juff. Def Juff. 206A. So this first box uh, did give us an orange, but uh, an orange and a uh, blue aqua. That's uh, or an aqua wave. That's what we got out of that first box. So let me go ahead and count the packs. We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. Yep. So there you go. My first box. And we're even right over here, as you can see. So uh, that's uh, that's a two-hit box. 
I don't know if uh, the odds were wrong or if they just uh, didn't care this time around. I don't know. Uh, you know what I am going to try to do uh, is calculate the odds as I open up these three boxes. And uh, if the odds are not the same as what's advertised on the pack, I am going to fill out a missing hit form for tops. And, and for the first time ever, I'm going to send it in. Now, I may not get anything from that, so that uh, could very well happen. But, uh, yeah. You know what what's the worst that can happen they can ignore me for a year and just uh, not care so very cool so far we're getting a lot of duplicates of the original series 5 art in these boxes but uh, the reason we're doing this is for some hits and that's what we want to see and thus far I do not have any hits reinforced Aaron great card I'm gonna have to start pile number two here this pack feels a little bit heavy so We'll see what this has in it. Metallic Max, and yep, it sure did. Jules, Drools, 284A. Um, what is that? The X Fractor. I don't even know what these are. To 150, and this is number 59 of 150. It sure is shiny, that's for sure. Kind of catching the light there. What do you guys think? And there it is, 54, 59 of 150. So very cool, uh, Doey Joey and Dottie Dribble are the last two cards. Um, you can kind of tell because, boy, these things are, are super thick and they, they seem to weigh a little bit more than your standards. So your colored parallels, when you pick up a pack, if you've handled enough of them, you, I guess you'll kind of know what uh, is in it. And this one, again, same thing. I knew it kind of picking up. So Hot Rod, there's your green wave very nice. I do really like those yellow and green waves. I realize they're $2.99. This is $2.76 at $2.99, but that's great. Then you got Hot Rod again and Mel Meal there underneath. Um, <clears throat> I have to excuse me. My voice is, is going in and out from the little bit of illness. I am not contagious, so if anyone's worried about catching COVID through this video, you have nothing to worry about. Um, okay, so just looking for some C cards. Top mat, very good. Condo mini. We're going to keep going, keep ripping these open as quick as I possibly can. Boy, I hope that is not my only two hits in that box. There it is, my first refractor this time around, and that is Gassy Gus. Hmm. Hot Doug and Wormy Shermy. <laughs> very cool. They do hold a little bit of nostalgia for me. Um, I was only going to buy a couple of these hobby boxes, and then they, the pricing came where it was less than my initial pre-order. So I did pick up just a few more of these. Um, I did use a, a little bit of YouTube money, thank you YouTube, to pick up an extra hobby box uh, for the giveaway. And that's my thank you to all you guys out there suffering through these two hit boxes. Hamburger patty there, no C card, so we won't even bother. Um, and I hope that goes to a good home. And uh, more importantly, I hope it goes to someone that didn't buy a case of these. Um, I have seen some openings, if you guys have watched a few breaks on, on YouTube for these. Two to three hits per box is the norm. And uh, not a lot of super fractors have been pulled through people that have opened up cases. Someone did post on the Garbage Pail Kid forum that uh, they opened up, they bought a case and were opening up packs, and I think they pulled, was it three, I, I believe it was three printing plates, and that was awesome. Uh, so to have that many in an actual uh, case is, is kind of unheard of, which you know, makes me wonder a little bit about the correlation from tops. But then again, you know, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't really know how they do their, I don't know, really know how they do their, uh, they're packing and, and making sure that there's hits in these boxes. It would be neat. I don't. Does anyone out there know if you can get a tour of the Topps factory in Brooklyn? Um, is that even a thing where they take you in there and show you the operations? How neat would that be? Um, boy, one of you famous YouTubers needs to uh, set that up and go bring your camera and record. So. Uh, that would be really neat. I'm not even reading the names anymore, guys, because I'm sure we've all seen them. Um, what I'm looking for is hits. We've got a couple more packs now before we get into the last box. And this one around, I've only pulled a couple refractors. And uh, so far, two hits, a green wave and the little X-Fractor. So, hmm. I don't know. We've got, what, six packs left, maybe a little bit less. 
Uh, yeah, no, nope, yeah, nope. I should be able to put together a set, although I don't feel like I'm pulling a whole lot of all new art in these. Um, and it's Dennis again. Hmm. Another Clark Kent. Just keeps going around. Uh, what, three packs left? Come on, let's go for a three hit box. I, I deserve a three hit box. Don't you guys agree? So far, I am not lucky. There you go. You start to see the flaps. So we've got two more packs before the flaps. So there is another refractor diaper. Dan sprayed Wade and Serge or Neil. Excuse me. All right, one after this one. So Nat Nerd, Wendy Winston, very cool. Uh, Mick Daggers and of course Gourmet again. Last one, and then we are into the final third box. Yes, I realize I'm just running through this. Slade Wade, Ben Bolt, Refractor, very nice. Uh, Wendy Winston and another Adam Ball. So, uh, two hit boxes, two boxes, four hits. Again, just to kind of show these off, we got a Hot Rod, a Jules Jules, Earl Painting, and a Fried Franklin. Um, happy for the orange. I got to admit, though, guys, wow, two hit boxes. Uh, if they if they would have turned around and said, hey, this is how many hits we're going to have in each hobby box of Chrome, I don't even know if I would have done a pre-order of this. I, I truly would have just bought a set. So I can't say I'm, I'm real darn excited about that. Here is our last box. You can see the flaps here on the side. So we have burned through two hobby boxes and literally have four hits. Now, I know some of you out there have pulled three hit boxes. Um, hey, that's great. If we get an autograph, if we get a, a plate, uh, that'll definitely make up for it. But uh, I have to be really honest with you right now, a little Adam Ball refractor, that's kind of nice. I am not super excited about the correlation on this as of right now. Um, not a lot of hits in these boxes. I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth. And uh, I'm starting to get a little bit more jaded. And I, I want to stay positive for you guys. I, I really do. I just, uh, it's hard. It's hard when you buy something expecting one thing and then they turn around. They would give you no notice and they give you something completely different. In my industry, that's deceptive advertising. And they have a consumer protection agency you can just send an email to and and make uh, my day a living hell trying to answer that. So um, should we hold Tops Fanatics accountable for this as well? That is the question. Let me know in the comments what you think. If we if uh, we all band together and send an email saying, hey, you know what, you're receiving 150,000 missing hit requests because... <laughs> This is BS. It's not uh, these odds. And, and I'm gonna next pack. I'm gonna just take a look at a couple odds here. But uh, Gene Sheen, Grin, Great Defaced. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of the duplicates. Not a lot of the all new as well. So base refractors are one in three, and we have not hit that. Green is one in forty-two. Wave is green. Wave one in forty-two. Yellow forty-five. Um, purple 49 yeah Sh uh, C name in a hundred printing plate yeah hmm. so I'm, I'm just telling you that both the refractor and the, so far any colored parallels are not not the correct odds and I'll do the math on it um, when I have time to use my brain power and really see if that's the case there is a refractor that's nice stingray and that and that yeah, no C card. If I do, for some reason, go past the C card, if someone in the comments would let me know. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job looking for that. Okay, now we're starting to pull some refractors again, like the first box. First box had four or five refractors in a row and then nothing. Um, you know, that still equals 15. So we got a green gene machine, and this one is 132 of 299. And riveted Rex Tanya Hyde, Tanya Hyde. Uh, don't like solid green refractors. If you guys wanted it, I just don't think the color's that great. Uh, Hugh Turn, Menace Dennis, Toothy Ruthie, and Iron John. Nope, nope, nothing. Hmm. 
So it feels different, not necessarily heavy, it just feels a little different. Okay, so Haunted Hollis again. McDaggers there is a refractor. Okay. Doey Joey and Dottie Dribble. Dottie Dribble's nice. Looking for a good hit. Batty Barney, Lazy Louie, Clark Chrome, and Michael Mutant. Clark Crumb's a really cool card. First time we pulled that in three boxes. Wow. Wonder if I'm going to get an uh, ANS set or if I'm going to have to open up another box. Jordan Nuts, uh, Gene Machine, okay. Uh, Nasty Nancy and Handy Randy. Handy Randy. Very cool. I don't think we got color in this one either. either. Edible Ernie. Uh, Manop Ali, Wendy Winston, and another Adam Ball. So I am uh, pulling quite a number of Adam Balls, so that's nice. Uh, I don't know, cool looking card. You Adam Bomb collectors out there, is that traditional enough for you? I don't know. Uh, Adam's not my favorite character, but I do like the color in the card, so I think that's kind of cool. Need art. Okay, Net Nerd, there it is. We have a black wave. Ooh, and it is Gory Rory. Upside down, Donald and Repaired Rex. Gory Rory. That is high glossed. Wow. And black is to 99, and this is 66 of 99. So the black does warrant a penny sleeve. Okay, okay, okay. For those of you yelling at the computer screen or your iPad or your cell phone. Put that green in a sleeve retro. I did it. So six hits. We do have a couple packs left. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a three hit box. That would be nice. Uh, and I think I just spoke too soon. So we do have a three hit box. Hot Doug and Wormy Shermy yet again. Boy I pulled him. So that is just a standard wave refractor. And the wave is of 199, and this is number 11 of 199. So that's nice to get a three hit box. That's pretty cool. I will take it, especially with the odds that have come for these thus far. Okay, now we've got Dottie Dribble. Another all new. Oh, wait a second. That's a C card. Board Walker 210C. Okay, interesting. So I have not seen a four hit box before. Um, and by the way, uh, just so everyone knows, that is my very first C card pull ever. Um, never pulled a C card before. So we do have Board Walker. Very nice, uh, again, C cards, meh, they're okay. But uh, I'm excited for the extra hit in the box. So that's four out of the box number three. This is probably gonna be a lucky box for somebody, so I really hope it goes to somebody that will post it uh, on the forums, or if you have a YouTube channel, make sure you post uh, what your hits are in the box. I would be excited to know what was in there. Um, yeah, come on, another hit. Let's get a five. Iron Nat Nerd, very cool. Fried Franklin again, Glossy Flossy, and Shattered Shelby. Shattered Shelby is, is a really nice looking chrome card. Of course, you figured anything to do with the mirror should be a nice chrome card. This is Starchy Archie. Then we have our refractor of Bud Buggy. Bud Buggy. Welded Fred, yeah, and uh, Clark Kent. Very cool. Going to be excited to go through and see if I have a set or if I'm going to have to pick up something else. Refractor there. Um, top mat, yep. So we'll save both of those and then a condo mini. Two more packs left out of this box. And again, this one was already partially opened. Uh, Def Jeff, another refractor of Ross Rof, Roast, excuse me. Richie Ratch, uh, I do like Richie Ratch. Um, and then Cliff Hanger, very cool. Uh, Richie Ref, uh, Ress, Jesus. Richie Ratch. Looks really cool just because of the uh, kind of designs out there. I like how the, the, the lights catch it. So um, just a neat little card. So yeah, yeah. 
Um, I liked it in the original Series 5 as well. You know, anything with, with puke on it, especially as a kid, I thought was really neat. Okay, this is our last one. Here we go. Not going to take any extra time. Did we get a hit? Nope. We got a refractor. Uh, Brenda Blender defaced again. Uh, bend Bolt. Is that our refractor? Nope. Nope. And Ben Bolt. <laughs> freaking kidding me first off look at this corner on this damn card up here all right second off you're pulling the same damn card come on come on fanatics you guys can do better than that Blah. anyway let me go through here see if i got a set stick around we're gonna go ahead and do the giveaway just to review again all right so we did get a c card board walker uh, Wormy Shurnamy, Wave, uh, Gory Wory, Black Wave, nice. Gene Machine, just a solid green. Fried Franklin for the orange. Earl Painting for the uh, Aqua Wave, it looks like there. Is this the X-Fractor? I don't even know what this thing is. Uh, yeah, it looks like maybe an X-Fractor. Uh, Jules Drools and a Hot Rod. Two still like the, the green waves and the yellow waves. No yellow waves for me this time around. That's too bad. That was uh, one of my favorite for Chrome 4. So anyway, stick around. I'm going to see if I have a full set. I'll be back in just a minute. All right, welcome back, everybody. So as you see over here, I was able to put together a base set. So I do have a base set. Um, over here are my extras. Now, I, I did not have enough for two base sets. There are a few cards that I only had one of for a base. But uh, I counted up the refractors, and there are 24 refractors. So that does equal one and three. Um, and eight hits, including a C-name short print. Now... I will tell you, I missed the, the Chrome 3 and 4 days where you were pulling 5 to 6 hits a box or more. Um, I'd much rather have 15 than 8. However, you know, if you remember the early Chrome days, you were around and collecting and opening those hobby and blasters back then. You know, I remember opening a hobby and, and getting nothing besides a few refractors more than once on Chrome 1 and 2. Uh, at least the blasters had the X fractors in them back then. So, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I get it. Um, I'm not upset by any means in my hits. I think I have some really cool things. But uh, without further ado, I know you guys are here for the giveaway. So, again, let me kind of straighten this all out. This is for the sealed hobby box. And it is going out as my thank you to you for all of you guys out there watching these Buick commercials on my channel. So, uh, let's do some quick shuffling. If you hashtag uh, Retro Hero New Year and Garbage Pail Kids and Non Sports Show and Tell 77, you're in the running. Um, lots of you in here, I know. Uh, so, again, if you win, I will pin your name in the comment. Please reply under your YouTube ID. That way I can verify it really is you. Then we'll connect via email. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get this out to you. So today's winner for the Chrome 5 Hobby Box will be... Awesome! Cash's Treasures! All right, brother. Well, hey, congratulations, Robert Cash, if you guys know him. He is an awesome YouTuber and a great dude. So, uh, Robert, congratulations, man. Uh, you got the hobby box. I'm sure you've got a bunch of these. So, add it to your collection or throw it into your 500 subscriber giveaway. So, uh, congratulations, Cash is Treasures, Robert Cash. And you guys give him some love in the comment. Um, non Sports Show and Tell number 79 will be coming out soon. Um, boy, I, I got such a mess over here. I don't know if I want to pan the camera, but I do have a ton of non-sport wax, 60s, 70s, and 80s, um, lots of foil, lots of other garbage pail kid, and hobby boxes and wax boxes to talk about. It was a great retro hero Christmas. Love to my family. You guys are the best. There's my heart sign. Heart sign. Okay, there we go. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's it. So congratulations again, Cassius Treasures. Thank you guys for watching this longer type video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll be back soon. So happy new year, everybody. From me to you, take care. Talk to you again soon. Bye.